Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. What it do, babies? Happy solar return to all my Scorpios. It is so Scorpio season. Happy solar return to all of you whose solar return has fallen on. Look what just popped out. So we have power, which has had anyone celebrating their solar return today on this beautiful 1111 portal. I send you infinite love and light. I will that today is especially beautiful for you. To all of those who have already celebrated their solar returns, happy belated. I also will that it was especially amazing for you all and that you were able to really enjoy yourself, celebrate your wins, do some things that you wasn't even that you didn't even think you'd be doing. Maybe some of y'all was dancing into the wee hours of the night. Maybe a couple of folks pulled up on you and just bought you a bottle of champagne and took you out to dinner and just celebrated you and let you know you was loved. So I will you had a special day. For anyone who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. As you already know, I too am a Scorpio. I'm also Claire Audien. I'm intuitive. I'm an empath. You will hear music playing in the background because I do incorporate the music into my readings. And you'll notice that the messages tend to blend very beautifully. Right now, we have Fela Kuti. Water, no get enemy. So, Scorpios, you are a water sign. And I feel like you ain't letting no enemies, nobody block your blessings. Um, you're definitely not letting anyone... Um, manipulate you emotionally anymore. I feel like a lot of you are in emotional equilibrium and balance. I feel like you've taken your power back because that is the very card that flew out. So you are in your power, owning your power. You've discovered your power. This is a very powerful time right now. So I feel like a lot of you are manifesting like master manifestors. And during this 1111 portal on this Thursday, this Thor's day, or this beautiful day of abundance because this Thursday represents a day of like you can really work on manifesting uh, rituals and spells on Thursdays you know conducting business on Thursdays have pro proven to also be very successful but this is a day of, of, of abundance of prosperity of success so many of you, you're in your power, owning your power. I feel like a lot of you have taken your power back. You know, maybe that was one of the karmic lessons you had to learn. Maybe you were in a codependent connection and voila, you owned your power. Now you're owning it. Now you have it. I feel like there's something about your energy that's really magnetic. It's really drawing a lot of attention. It's really pulling a lot of um energy towards you I feel like you're attracting a lot that's the energy I'm feeling like you're kind of like magnetically drawing and attracting everything you desire if you look on the crown you know of this witch's uh, hat or even of her crown period you know you'll see a, a plethora of colors you see yellow orange green and so I feel like this is the energies you know that you have really tapped into and I feel like the the way in which you were able to you know, obtain this power is by loving yourselves, prioritizing your needs over that of other people, you know, and I feel like this has emotionally, uh, you know, centered you, balanced things, you know, you're, you're in emotional equilibrium because water no get enemy is playing by Fela Kuti. And so I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like maybe some of you were your worst enemy. You were your own worst enemy because maybe uh, you were kind of passive. You were not delegating as much or as necessary. And um, I feel like that, that caused a lot of imbalance, you know. But now you're in emotional equilibrium. And now you're in power, in your power. And this is your season. So you should feel very uh, powerful, very revitalized, very optimistic, you know. I'm hearing that there's like a lot of... of forward movement you know and it's because you're in alignment you know you scorpios have definitely um you've been like closing out those cycles you've been cutting karmic cords you've been breaking yokes and generational curses you've been real busy these past few years 
you know, you've been cutting yourselves free from toxic relationships or people who were kind of like, you know, energy vampires or succubus energy, leechy energy, parasitic energy, just kind of anchoring you and binding you and keeping you stuck and stagnant. You've since cut that off. You know, this witch's hat, this powerful energy, this shows that you know how to transmute negative energy. And you are the conduit of change. And you've discovered that energy doesn't die. What it does is you can transmute it. And so whatever was keeping you bound and stuck, I feel like you've since learned, you know, what works for you, what doesn't. You've since learned healthy boundaries. And so now some of you are really, you know, cooking up. I'm hearing you cooking up some shit like you're really utilizing this energy you're channeling you know the energy of that of a, a wizard you know a warlock a witch you know some of you could be in the practice you know really honing your skills in this area and this it's becoming it's strengthening to some degree right now we have most deaf pharaoh Monch, raw digger and it's called um and it's called talking to you so yeah i feel like your intuition was talking to you because as I said there's a lot of activity right around where the crown chakra is so there could have been da divine interventions downloads a lot of you were receiving transmissions you know you may hear a lot of people refer to birthday as a solar return and the solar return is literally coined that because the sun returns to the position it was when you were born so it goes right back to the exact position it was in when you were born and so during that time great epiphanies happen you know a lot of clarity takes place there's a bright yellow force of energy here right in the center and that yellow could deal with your um, solar plexus and your solar plexus that's truly where a lot of trauma is housed but as you heal that then you break free from certain yokes and curses you you know regain your power your strength this is often, um, the stomach is often called the second brain. Because when you're in those moments of excitement or fear, your stomach will drop. You'll feel those butterflies. So it's like you're, you're very in tune and in touch. It's as if you have a divine power, divine knowledge, and you are in the practice and you're utilizing your powers for good. And I feel like if you aren't utilizing your powers at this time, I feel spirit is strongly talking to you. Because this song by Rod Digger, Mostef, Farrah Monch, uh, Talib Kweli is called Talking to You. So I feel like you've been receiving nudges. You know, there's been some sort of synchronistic uh, downloads or activities. Maybe you're having a lot of lucid dreams. Whatever it is, you're tapped in, tuned in to your power. So that's just a channeled message. Let's go ahead and do what I do. We're going to call in the elements. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to let you all know if you are new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I'm also clairaudient as you see. I incorporate the music into the readings as I said. But this is a general reading. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't fly, let it fly by. Don't try to force the story to be your story. If you find that this reading doesn't resonate, check out the placements. It may resonate with your moon um, sign or with your ascended sign, even your Mercury or Venus. So check those other placements if you don't know what those are. There's a link in my description box which will take you um, to a site where you can generate your natal chart. So this also is a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that's exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya. I call upon Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Orula, Mama Yemenya, Baba Alegua, and Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up the number, synchronicity, vibrations, frequency. And so it is. So more to be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we have Midas Touch playing by Midnight Star. So you have the Midas Touch. Everything you touch right now is turning to gold. And it's because you have the power. And not only do you have the power, you're owning the power. You're acknowledging the fact that you have the power. So you're master manifesting something. 
and this is something that you are very passionate about. Maybe it's in regards to love. Maybe you're manifesting um, a new love. Or maybe you're just uh, cooking up, like I said, um, some new recipes, spells. Um, you're really setting your intention. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it with intention. Um, there's emotional investment. There's power. And there's a vision. I feel like you see yourself um, someplace. And so you're, you're setting the intention, you know, so that's powerful. So this is the bonus message here. So let's go ahead. We're going to pull a message for the overall energy and we got our message fast. So we have, look at that. We have security and then we have, um, it says, which is cottage. So there's a lot of messages here. So many of you are like fortifying, you know, your, um, the protection around you. I feel like you are very protected because this says security. Maybe some of you are looking to uh, purchase a security system like Ring ADT, you know, like a Ring um, camera or something like that. I definitely feel like, you know, whatever you're doing, um, it's working out beautifully. You know, this song is saying you got the Midas touch. So even if you are cooking up some uh, protective spells, rituals at this time, I feel like it's really, um, it's going to be very powerful. You know, I also feel like you're very impervious to threats. So there's a sense that you're highly intuitive. You trust your, 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 your gut instinct. Like, you know, you could sense danger. You could sense, um, you know, just very suspect energy around you, very questionable energy. You know, people who have ulterior motives and agendas, you can pick up on that very quickly. I'm seeing here um, that, you know, with this cat here, like I said, cats, you know, some of you could have a cat, own a cat, look into adopt a cat, you know. I own a black cat and this is a black cat, but I feel like, you know, you're very in, you're very protected, you know, whatever is happening um, around you, even if you're in an environment where you may not, um, you may not like, like where you reside, you may not, may not like, uh, you may not particularly like, um, you know, the community in which you live or the area. Um, per se. So it's like you, you know, you're still protected though, because I feel like you've created like a safe haven, you know, your own little security, um, uh, your own little sanctuary, you know, within, you know, that, that particular area. So it's like, you're, you're very protected and it's like, whatever you do, um, it's almost like whatever you do, it, it, it works out in your favor. It's like you have, um, I'm just feeling like, you know, whatever you do right now, it will be successful because I feel like the divine, you know, the divine is really, really protecting you right now. You know, maybe some of you are, um, like I said, you're, you're handcrafting, you know, certain potions, elixirs, maybe you're doing candles, um, and you're making protective candles, you know, for people to purge or release, um, certain hexes or spells to banish certain energy. Maybe you're creating like spiritual baths and things like that. Um, whatever you do, it's in the craft. And it's it's for protection. And I feel like the divine is also saying that you are protected. And you also could be, like I said, like you could be looking to, you know, really, um, you know, put up like security um, cameras, you know, in, you know, where you reside. Maybe there's been some incidents and you're looking to catch people in the act. So maybe you got a ring camera. Maybe you lost a few packages through delivery. Um, and you, you, you're you going to find somebody like red-handed, um, you know, stealing something from you. Um, we have, um, what is this? Oh, uh, Erica Badu. And it's called 20 Feet Tall. Look at that. And then we have this uh, fulfillment card, Chalice. So... What I'm, I'm seeing with this is because we're about to pull the energy of the person you're attracting and what they feel. Um, and, and, and we see that there's lots of love, emotional balance, you know, and I feel like this is going to make you feel 20 feet tall. I feel like the love that you, you know, pour into this connection or the, the love that this person pours into you is going to make you feel 20 feet tall. It's going to it's going to be enough love 
to fulfill a giant, if you will. This is the epitome of, you know, contentment. You know, feeling like you've met an equal, someone that speaks your love language. You know, finding someone who can give you the three A's and the sun is like shining directly in my eye. So that's beautiful. But it's like there, there's going to be some some sort of like aha moment. Someone is going to become very aware of maybe their feelings because this this cup, you know, they could be at this time, you know, maybe they're healing emotionally. Maybe they're, you know, releasing something from their past, but I do feel there's a sense of, you know, discovering their feelings or emotions or acknowledging that, expressing it even, you know? So that's beautiful. I love that. I love that. So the person that you are attracting is, you know, going to have a whole lot of love to give, you know? So that's beautiful. So who's this person? So we have initiation. And so this says uh, spirit. So spirit is initiating this person. They're going through some form of like, you know, I feel it's like um, karmic lessons. Maybe they're going through some sort of shadow, um, doing some shadow work right now, you know. And so they're being initiated. So they're, they're wrapping up a cycle, closing up a cycle here. And I feel like they're being initiated directly from spirit, from source, because I feel like they are especially meant for you. Just like I said, they're, they're wrapping up a cycle. There's clearance here. And it says um, broomstick. So they, they are um, being initiated. You know, maybe they're wrapping up um, a karmic relationship. And maybe they've been bound to this relationship for quite some time. And so they're being initiated perhaps within their familial uh, tree or their, their generation to break some sort of generational yoke or you know generational curse because it says initiation so they're being initiated for something greater than themselves and I feel like they were being like pruded you know it's almost like spirit is working with them giving them the ability to you know clear out you know what no longer serves you know releasing belief systems ideas perspective people circumstances behaviors you know to to grow to evolve so how do they feel how is this person going to feel about scorpio when they come in how is this person going to feel towards our beloved scorpios when they come in divine spirit of love and light how is this person going to feel for our beloved scorpios when they come in divine spirit of love and light how are they going to feel for our beloved scorpios when they come in divine spirit of love and light thank you and that flew up, out, and over here. <laughs> so how they're going to feel is they're going to be awakened to the love. They're going to feel like you are definitely wish fulfillment, you know. And they feel like there's, you know, look at this. You see these two um, deer. It looks like deer. Is that deer? It could be deer or cows. I'm not sure what that is. But there are two of them. So they feel like you are their equal, like you are... You know, a spiritual partner, a soulmate. It will be a spiritual union. They're awakening to this. They feel like you're also, um, you know, spiritually awakened, in tune, in touch. You know, very much in a space of oneness. You know, you're very balanced emotionally. I feel like they also can see themselves building with you, you know, emotionally investing committing to a partnership because this foundation card shows that they would be willing to build you know they feel like the relationship could grow and develop into something very beautiful like they see that this can be like a nucleus you can be you know their other half so to speak they could see marriage in the future they could see you know a bright future they feel this will also sustain them you know, and I feel like they're, you know, like I said, they're being initiated. So it's almost like spirit is handpicking and pruding them, preparing them. It's like a conspiracy behind the scenes by spirit to bring this person. It's like they're being hand selected for you. And I feel like it's because they've been through similar things. Maybe you awakening, you manifesting is, you know, somehow triggering your person to do their work. 
and whatever was binding them, whatever chains, it's like they're freeing themselves from those chains. And it's because they're already initiated, you know, and they're highly intuitive. We have Cynthia Williams, Harlem Blues, you know, so, you know, there's been tower moments for both parties. I feel like this person has gone through a tower moment and they had to learn, you know, how to sustain and maintain and, you know, regain a sense of independence or regain a sense of, you know, self-sufficiency. And that's something that they're doing. They're kind of grounding themselves, working on themselves, healing themselves, you know, because they are, you know, initiated for something greater, for a, a, um, a more equal, you know, more fulfilling partnership. And I feel like with you, I think that they also see you as someone that they, you know, you brighten their light, you brighten their days, you make them happy. You know, like I said, they could see a future, they could see building with you, but there's a sense of love, there's a sense of peace, sense of freedom that they feel with you, sense of groundedness, like you're very nurturing, you have a very maternal or paternal um, energy, you're very, uh, very much a, a natural born healer, you know, they see you as very powerful, very magical, very mysterious. Very alluring, attractive, sensual, you know, and an equal because these two literally look like they could be attached at the freaking neck, you know. So it's like they, they see that there is this synergy or this chemistry that the two of you share and they also want to build, you know, a foundation, a solid foundation. So that's powerful. And this homeland, you know, there could, you know, be some, because this is a map, so there could be distance. This could even denote that, you know, um, that someone could be from a different background, you know, a different ethnic background. So what's hidden in the energy? So your ancestors, remembrance. So, you know, during this special time of celebrating and the holidays, it tends to be a very, um, a very solemn time. You know, it's a very, you know, for a lot of people, the holidays is really a really, it's it's really a difficult time of the year because you, you get to thinking of all the loved ones that aren't there and you kind of have these moments where you're reflecting back on happier times, you know, so I feel like many of you have ancestors that are letting you know, like they're with you, you know, they know that you miss them, love them, and the love doesn't stop simply because someone isn't in the physical. You know, they love you um, beyond measure. They love you and their love transcends space, time, and I feel like, you know, a lot of you may still be, you know, grieving the loss of loved ones, um, and I strongly feel like they want you to know that they are with you. They they are with you every day. So if you question that or have doubts or even if you have had certain circumstances occur and you was like, was that? And it's like, yeah, that was them. You know, that was your loved one um, nudging you. You know, if you had a ladybug just pop out of nowhere, just like today, my daughter was sitting out on the patio and there's two ladybugs just kind of hanging out. And what makes that very interesting is that we have a screened in patio. So how do two ladybugs, <laughs> you know, get to chilling on the inside of my patio? So we always attribute the ladybugs in my, you know, as my grandmother, um, you know, I feel like that's her animal totem, um, if you will. And so, you know, <clears throat> that could be some of the occurrences you all may be experiencing where you're having these really, um, random acts take place and you're like wait this song is something I used to always listen to with my mom and then voila there it is playing right when you're thinking about them so that's just you know confirmation that you are right and exact in how you're feeling so just trust your intuition we have Art Blakely and the Jazz Messengers playing contemplation so yeah there's a lot of contemplation reflection meditating back you know like I said on back um, on you know past times, past experiences, 
That's what remembrance is, you know, just kind of thinking about those nostalgic memories. But your ancestors are here. And I feel like not only are they here um, protecting you, guiding you, you know, spiritually, um, I feel like they're also assigning you a love partnership because maybe they've heard some of your prayers and your petitions in regards to, you know, desiring a partner, you know, desiring a life partner, you know, someone that could be your um, soulmate. And we have prosperity on the bottom of the deck. And this is what I'm about to clarify in terms of what the outcome is. And we have prosperity. So there's a reward. There's, pen, there's financial reward. There's some financial growth, expansion. You are experiencing success right now. It's like wish fulfillment. It's like reward and recognition for completing and closing out karmic cycles. And now that you have this new beginning, you're going to have a new financial start. Things are picking up for you. And I'm hearing everything is golden, you know, and remember, you got the Midas touch. So maybe if you've, you know, had a lot of downloads during your solar return in terms of like ideas, um, maybe you're going to start implementing those ideas and start creating um, and whatever you're doing is going to be super successful for you. It's going to be very successful because you do have the power. And we do know you cooking up something. You're honing some sort of skills, some sort of gifts. So divine spirit of love and light. What is the outcome? So we have homecoming. So I feel like this homecoming is like speaking to you, returning to yourself. You know, and you also have incubation. You know, and just as I said, returning to yourself. And if you look, that's like an adult inside of that womb. You know, it looks like a womb. So I feel like the gesture gestation period is is almost up because i feel like a lot of you have been kind of like in that in that hermit mode kind of reserved really healing you haven't really been socializing you haven't really been around a lot of people scorpios don't like to be around a bunch of people anyway but i feel like as of you know these past few months years you've really just been focusing on healing thyself on building your brand building your business on your children, on building your stability and your security, your finances. Um, you've really been on that mode. I feel like this this is showing that something is about to be born. There's going to be like a birth of something new. Because this Astara is like, you know, that's that divine feminine energy. So it's like your creative ideas, whatever you've been working on or tweaking, it's like it's going to generate some sort of... Um, opportunity for you and you're going to garner the respect of your peers uh because i feel like whatever you're doing is it's going to be in the spotlight and it's going to give you a lot of coins it's going to give you a lot of stability you're going to be very financially um successful there's like expansion here is what i'm hearing and i feel like it's because you really tweaked you know you really mastered some sort of craft or you really learned you was in a studious energy um and you submitted you surrendered to the process and you knew that you know good things take time to create but i feel like this master manifesting that you've been doing um you know because you are very powerful it's strengthened and i feel like there's a return of you you know like you're returning back to what you love um, that passion card showed up. So maybe something kind of unearthed inside of you. Like you, you know, had something explode within you. And you just really started to to hone those skills, you know. You started to really work on that hobby that you really enjoyed. And until you got into a relationship and all of your time and attention was focused on that. But I feel like there's a sense that you've returned to something that you really enjoy doing. So this homecoming is like, you know, returning back to the self, learning, you know, who you are and and embracing, you know, that solitude, embracing your independence um, and just finding happiness again, finding joy and peace. So you, you will be. Look at that. I said divine feminine. And there it is. This is just underneath the pentacles. So you, you will garner the respect of those around you and it's because they are familiar with your journey and this divine feminine you've been on this journey for a while and it is your birthright to live in abundance because the divine feminine is very successful and abundant she's very prosperous she's also very powerful because she knows her worth and her value and she makes things happen she is a very powerful powerful feminine energy 
and she can master manifest. So that's one of her uh, beautiful character. Um, you know, that's one of the um, beautiful attributes and, and is that she possesses all of the, you know, all of the, how you say, she possesses all of the skills. She possesses all of the information, you know, all of the power that her fellow queen daughters possess, you know. She can, she possesses all of that or he possesses all of that. So it's like you, you, you know how to utilize the elements around you, just like that magician or just like the alchemist even. So that's powerful. I love that. I love that energy. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see what we got coming and going out, going on. So you have two messages there, um, for, for the outcome <clears throat> and that's homecoming and incubation. So something's about to, I feel like it's manifesting. Something's manifesting, you know. Some of you could be born, I mean, could be pregnant with child, you know. You know, some of you could be pregnant at this time. So those cards just popped out. We have pride here. And I'm hearing the song by Sade, Love is Stronger Than Pride. Love is Stronger Than Pride. And then we have... Um, We have Sir playing um, Queen. So someone's pride, you know, someone's pride has them realizing like their love for you is more important than anything because they do see you as a queen. So what we have here is effort. So someone wants to make this effort. I feel like you've also made the effort to, you know, to um, it's your effort that has led to you having this power. Excuse me. You know, you finding your sense of balance you taking the reins. I feel like a lot of you have um, started to own your power. You realize that you, you know, are the conduit of change, and that you also it's your divin, you know, the divinity of the divine feminine is creation, and so that's what you were doing. You were creating. You made the effort. You put the work in, you know, and now that's leading to some level of stability, balance. It's leading to success. That's very beautiful. So next we have happy ending. So you're going to have a happy ending. And I feel like it's because, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm hearing the term home is where the heart is. You know, so, you know, I feel like, you know, you 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 have a very safe haven. You've created a safe haven. And I feel like there will be a, a, a very happy ending to this story. Like if you all are, um, like I said, if you're in an environment where you don't particularly like to be, if you reside in a community that you don't necessarily like, or if you live in a particular area that you don't like, I feel like, you know, you, you may move, you know, and maybe if someone was stealing your packages or doing something um, within that, you know, that um, locality that you live, I feel like there's going to be a happy ending. It's going to rule in your favor. But I feel like trust your intuition when it comes even to protection. You know, maybe you need to take some extra precautions um, when it comes to protection. Pay attention to your intuition. We have um, cranes in the sky, Solange playing. And so the cranes, definitely they fly. So that's about seeing things from a, a, a different perspective, getting a different vantage point. You know, looking at things from a different vantage point. Remember, with this cat there, I feel like, you know, regardless, you're you're impervious to any threats. So there will be a happy ending. I feel like your ancestors are definitely protecting you, spiritually protecting you as well. What did I say about your person experiencing some sort of karmic completion? Going through a karmic lesson and being initiated. So they have to wrap up a cycle. And this is exactly what's happening right here. And so they're, they're, they're going back to the root cause. They're doing their due diligence. They're healing at a soul level. And that's why they're being um, handpicked by the divine, like I said. Because there's a sense of mirroring. You know, what the experiences you go through, um, your soulmate, your, your uh, spiritual partner will have similar experiences. So it's like, like I said, they were being pruded. They were being prepared. And so they're breaking free from the chains that bound them. That kept them stuck and stagnant in a partnership or a relationship. And spirit is the one initiating this change. And so we have abundance. What did I say? <laughs> like Scorpios, you were manifesting during that 8-8 portal. 
And now it's manifesting. It's a materializing. I said that this person, this is how this person feels about you. They feel that you are self-sufficient, independent, you know, that you are walking into a whole new cycle full of, you know, personal healing and happiness, abundance, emotionally, financially, stabil there's stability here. This person sees you as someone that they can build a life with, be, you know, a family. This is a very beautiful energy because this pink could also speak to emotional abundance. Abundance isn't just about money, but it's about anything. You could have love in abundance. You could have, um, you know, you could have stability in abundance. It's, it's just the feeling, the overall vibration of abundance, of, of attracting, you know, what you desire. You know, and there's a sense of um, beauty, you know, that someone sees you as beautiful. And I feel like with this song, Cranes in the Sky, like someone's having that epiphany, that aha moment. Because it's like they're looking at things from that bird's eye view. A crane can see, you know, airily, you know, from an aerial view. Because it's way up in the sky. So it could see things that someone who's standing on the ground wouldn't be able to see. And so I feel like for many of you, you're highly intuitive. You know, and, and your intuition has led to... You, like I said, owning your power because you've made the effort. If you would have just sat there and ignored the signs, the synchronicities and didn't work on yourself, because as I said, with that green, I feel like there was a lot of emotional um, healing that took place. Like you had to find emotional equilibrium after some sort of disappointment, heartache. I feel like you could have been bound and stuck in a very toxic relationship that was very codependent. And so many of you had to break free from that. You had to break free from that yoke. So that's powerful. So where are the rest of the cards? What did I? Oh, there. So with this pride here, there was a death. You know, there was an ego death, perhaps. Someone had some sort of ego death. So why is ancestors and remembrance here for our beloved Scorpios for what's hidden in the energy? Why is ancestors and remembrance here for what's hidden in the energy? And we have time out. And so I initially heard reflection. Take time to reflect. Take time to, you know, look back in awareness. And so that's exactly what time out is. You're remembering better times. This 37, that definitely um, is, uh, that's like an ending. So someone has transcended into the spirit realm. So you're taking time out to reflect, like I said, on, you know, those better times, on happier times. Um, this is a very nostalgic energy, um, but this yellow, you know, like I said, all of that yellow there is showing me that, you know, you're, you're being very courageous, you, you know, you're being very strong, you know, and it's also speaking to you healing, you know, you're still healing, you're still recovering from that loss, you know, because th this, these are people who were very significant. This could have been like, you know, a mother, a father, grandfather, grandmother, you know, a very close relative, someone that you had a very, um, very strong connection to. And we have trust issues playing by Drake. So many of you, you know, maybe some of you felt abandoned, you know, when someone law was, um, when someone transcended. And so that has caused you to not really be trusting. And so maybe your ancestors are, you know, giving you the ability because they left this sword. And so that sword is, you know, it's air energy. So that, that allows for you to see through the illusions, you know, to see things clearly. Maybe some of y'all um, were in a partnership and there were some trust issues. There were some infidelities. Somebody was creeping and you were given some downloads by your ancestors. They was, you know, kind of nudging you and telling you to pay attention because things was hidden right under your nose. Someone wasn't making the effort in the relationship. And this was someone that you were trying to build. Like you had this nucleus. There was like planting seeds, roots. You lived with this person. Maybe you had children, a family, you shared bills. There was a sense of like working towards a common goal. But unfortunately, that didn't work. But your ancestors were waking you up and telling you needed to take some time away from that connection. You know, maybe you are right now single. And you, you, you know, this, this time away, time out has given you a lot of clarity. You know what you want now. You know what you don't want. Like I said, you've set higher standards. You've definitely have established boundaries. And that's something that you may not have had in the past. You're very strong willed and spiritual beings. 
very intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient. You could be scryers. You could be a cardomancer. You could be a healer, shaman, a light worker. You could be a witch, a wizard, a warlock. You could be someone in the practice. Clearly, very spiritual, very spiritual, highly intuitive. There's no denying that. And your spirituality is what triggered the change within you. And that's why you're not going to settle moving forward. That's why there's a sense that you're you're returning to yourself. It's like you're remembering who you are. You're remembering what your purpose is. You know, this is a sense of returning back to what you're passionate about. That's beautiful. So why is Hearth homecoming here? For our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit. Thank you. What? Look at this. New beginning. So now you can start a fresh and new. Being you authentically and unapologetically. Brand new passionate start. Moving to the beat of your own drum, doing things the way you see fit, making the necessary changes. And with this incubation, like I said, something is being, it's like a rebirth. It's like you're being reincarnated because as I said, this is an adult. So it's almost like this person is going through some sort of startling metamorphosis. It's a transformation. This is the energy of Scorpios. But something new is being born, whether it's an idea, whether it's a new business, um, you know, a project, whatever it is, it's like you're birthing something new. And this, it's, you know, it's about to happen. It's about to manifest. So we have um, confessions here by Prodigy. So somebody could be confessing something to you. There could be some sort of communication coming in. Why is um, incubation here? See that? Look at that. Pride flew right back out. So someone is going to confess something that they may have been um, too proud to confess in the past maybe someone has something they want to tell you maybe they want to tell you they love you maybe they want to tell you you know that they find you to be very beautiful this is like like i said the divinity of the divine feminine divine masculine is creation so someone wants a new beginning it seems because this 10 reduces to one so someone's having an ego death this is the death this is the rebirth you know and i feel like their pride their ego is what led to somebody being on um, you know, on the outs with you. Somebody wants domestic harmony. There's 46 again, and we got the green right in the middle, the symbol of the symbol. So that's somebody wanting to, you know, wanting to heal a situation, wanting to nurture a connection. They realize, you know, by being in this incubation, being, you know, in isolation, you know, being in that hermit mode, they're able to see things from a different perspective. You know, they're able to observe things from a different vantage point from even your vantage point you know and I feel like they realize their pride their ego is what led to some sort of demise of a connection that 10 is letting me know that they there's an end of that they, they're ready for some sort of peace some sort of domestic harmony you know and they're willing to make the changes and I feel like the divine wants you to trust your intuition because you already know what you need to do you'll know um, what's best for you Give me one moment, please. Okay, my bad. Thank you for being patient. Um, I just noticed, you know, as I was expounding on these messages here for gestation, as I said, you know, maybe someone has a confession or even an apology. I'm hearing it's very strongly like an apology. Maybe someone's realizing, um, you know, that they were too proud. Maybe they're realizing, you know, that they were being too overzealous in a connection um, and they were taking this time out. I feel like they're going to actually, you know, you know, take some sort of chance or take a risk to come towards you. Um, this leadership was also, it also fell. I didn't see it until I sat back down. So I do feel like, you know, this person sees you as a leader. I feel like many of you also have gone through some sort of transformative um, period in your life. And you've now regained uh, control. Um, you know, that Divine Feminine is very much a born leader. Um, and she... And carries the attributes and characteristics and qualities of all of the queens, you know, so she's very uh, intuitive and sharp. Um, she's very passionate and loving and nurturing. Uh, she's very self-sufficient, very, very um, stable. You know, even the divine masculine obviously um, also has that type of energy. Um, this nine is showing the change, uh, the positive changes that were implemented um, in doing some sort of root work, you know, Scorpios rule the root, 
chakra. So I feel like a lot of you took it back to the root cause, um, which is why I was picking up like familial issues, traumas, generational curses. Um, and so, you know, when you took your power back, I feel like that's when that curse or that hex or that karmic cord just kind of broke. It snapped. It was cut um, and severed. And now there can be some sort of domestic harmony um, in your future because whatever was you know, whatever you all were cursed with, I feel like you've broken free from that, from that yoke, so to speak. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to um, get some additional messages. We're going to use goddess guidance. So we have Lakshmi here um, and it is Diwali right now. So that is a celebration in Hindu um, culture to uh, really you know, celebrate the, the good energy. It's about uh, embracing that good energy, that light energy, um, and utilizing it, you know, honoring all of the, the deities, the gods, the goddesses. So Lakshmi is here, and she's assuring that there's something beautiful. There's a bright future, some sort of new beginning, as we see here. You know, this bright future speaks to a beautiful, successful, powerful um you know, uh, future you have in store. So this is beautiful. So let's go ahead, clarify this message. Look at that. So prosperity is coming out again, double confirmation, triple confirmation. So there's rewards and recognition that's coming in. And it's because you've completed a cycle, a karmic lesson. You've learned tremendously. And I feel like now you've learned from the relationships, the con connections, um, you know, that were not working for you or serving your highest good and you changed, you know, you made the immediate changes, you made the necessary changes, um, you know, to ensure, you know, that you would be happy, that you would be, you know, sufficient. Mama Ma'at is showing up. She has everyone's address. And she's assuring that everything is being handled fairly and justly. So I feel like, as I said, you know, from whatever happened to you karmically, um, I feel like you all remained righteous and just in your actions. And so now there's karmic, um, a karmic reward, if you will. And so we have um, dead prez and this says for the hood. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm getting a sense of like, um, Robin Hood, I heard Robin Hood, like Robin Hood would steal from the rich and give to the poor. Um, you know, so it's almost like that energy, like the divine is taking from, you know, perhaps someone and, and teaching them by using you as, um, as the lesson, if you will, you know, maybe you all were in a spirit of lack. You didn't have, um, any real stability because you maybe have been, you know, in a codependent relationship or relying heavily on a partner. And now maybe things are reversing and changing. Um, and you're now able to be, uh, you know, you're now self-sufficient and reliant. Um, we have blossoming, um, and this is Eric Kura. So this has been a slow, um, slow burn you know it's been a lot of hard work but we see here that you you didn't give up you made the effort you know so you were in a very studious energy very patient you know because it requires patience when you are you know manifesting you know when you are uh planting seeds so i feel like you made the necessary efforts and that's why you know your power strengthened the more that you you know honed your skills or the more that you, you know, mastered your craft, you were really um, strengthening your power, uh, so to speak. So everything that you've been working on is manifesting. I feel that there's abundance coming in. And I feel like you just have to be patient with the process. Um, and look at that. Don't back down. I feel like that's exactly what you didn't do. I feel like you, in the past, as I was picking up, was you may have been very passive, um, but not anymore. You know, you're, you're, you're looking in the face of your enemies. You're standing there and you're confronting the issues. You're no longer in fear. You're no longer living in fear because you know who you are and because you're owning your power now. You know, you know who you are. So that's powerful. So why is um, happy ending here in security? So we have Mawu. So grounded, balanced, aligned. Feeling very safe, stable, secure, 
stay um this is a car a card that also speaks to like independent self sufficiency um grounded you know this is creating a safe haven being a healer even a shaman a light worker very maternal very caring taking care of those in your family taking care of those in your home taking care of the household beautifying the home you know, this is a very beautiful energy. Things are very happy. It's going to be a very happy ending. And we did see that confirmed with Lakshmi. See that? Focused on your children. And I feel like your children are the focal point. You know, this is someone who's really, um, you know, some of you could be like uh, counselors or self-help teachers. Or maybe you are, like I said, um, in the practice so you could be very clairvoyant, clairaudient, you could be psychics, you could be intuitives, you could scry, you know, you utilize that that spiritual power, you're tapped in, tuned in to that spiritual um, energy. And I feel like you, you see how she's holding this globe. So it's like, you know how to, um, how to utilize that power, you know, how to master manifest. And I feel like you're healing your children, you know, you're healing them from past wounds, past traumas. Your children are very important. And what was I saying about delegating? So now you know to delegate. Maybe you're dealing with, um, you know, the other parent. And they're not really stepping it up. They're not helping out. They're not doing their part. So I feel like, you know, you need to start delegating. Start requesting what you need. Maybe they're not helping you out financially. They're not purchasing anything for the children they're not spending any time so start delegating as you need because green uh, tara will assist you so ask green tara and she will bring through um some assistance especially when it comes to children maybe there will be some sort of um you know some sort of download that you'll receive in regards to your children so why is um wow look at that see this look at that guardian so your person is absolutely being prudent, just like I was picking up, because we have spiritual protection here from the guardian. Artemis is protecting your person, and spirit is here as well. So your person has a spiritual um, has spiritual protection because they have been, like I said, handpicked for you, and they're going through the dark night of the soul journey right now, and I feel like you are the one that's going to help them to heal or to ground themselves uh, because the same experiences you all may have um, had I feel this person has as well and with don't back down I definitely feel like um, you know this person is trying to build up and muster up the courage the strength um, to leave this connection to leave a relationship that's very toxic you know and I feel like you know they're not they're needing to stand direct you know, to speak what they, you know, speak their truth, you know, but they're having some assistance with this because apparently it's a very difficult um, cycle to close out. And so they're definitely, um, you know, the divine is working on this individual, the person you're attracting on their assertiveness. So why is um, awakening and abundance here? how this person will feel about our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit, love and light. Okay. And so we have past life. So this is a, a um, this is a past life connection. And I was picking up spiritual connection, a spiritual union. I was picking up all of that. So this is someone that the divine, that's why the divine is very instrumental in bringing you and this person into union. Because this is a connection that you had in a former life. And that's going to be something you're going to know when you come into um, union with this person. When you two connect, it's gonna, you're going to have that feeling of familiarity. Like You're going to feel like, damn, I, I know you from somewhere. You're going to feel this sense of comfortability. You know? You're going to feel like you've seen them somewhere. Or, you know, it's just like there's just going to be a chemistry and a synergy. And it's going to be something that's you know, unspoken. So this person sees you as, you know, like their twin flame or their soulmate. They're going to see you as someone who's also wish fulfillment. Like you're you're seen as beautiful. You're seen as a ray of light, of sunshine. They're sunshine. You know, this could even be someone who's familiar with you. I feel like with this quiet time, just as I said, 
you know, they're in this, you know, energy of incubation, gestation. So they're kind of like reflecting, introspecting. They're going through some sort of um, soul searching, you know, and it's because, like I said, whatever they're bound and stuck to, they're wrapping it up, you know. And so this is why the guardians are here protecting them, you know, from potential threat or distraction, you know, this is spiritual protection. Maybe if someone had some sort of spell work or binding spells or love spells, you know, the ancestors and angels and archangels, ascended masters are protecting this person, protecting this union overall. And with this quiet time here, that same green, you know, glow, you know, this is how, you know, you build your strength, you know, orically, um, energetically vibrationally is just by you know taking some time away from the noise you know separating yourself from all of the noise all of the chatter all of the distractions you know com contemplating reflecting you know taking that time out to connect with your higher self this builds your strength but it also is like a protective uh, mechanism for you all Scorpios that's why I was picking up like you don't do crowds. You don't do a bunch of people around you because you're empaths and you pick up on all that energy and it'll have you going stir crazy. So many of you, you know, maybe you are enjoying some quiet time on your solar return. And this is allowing you to really have some really profound downloads. I feel like there's some real um, powerful divine intervention taking place. And it's because you're about to come into a very powerful spiritual union um, that you have manifested. There's no doubt about it. You've manifested this shit. And so we have half time here. So you're through the halfway mark. You know, your person is about to come in, but they're still working on, you know, clearing up that cycle. So all the work that you've just got finished doing, your person is now going through it. And that's why patience is a form of action. That's why it's very important. Um... For you to always be working on yourself, there's always improvements to make, you know, because the more work you work, uh, the more work you do on yourself, um, it will just, you know, um, solidify the fact that your person who comes into you, they will going to they're going to have to meet you where you are vibrationally. There's no question about it. And that's why I feel like your ancestors are very instrumental. Your ancestors and your person's ancestors are very instrumental in um, bringing this union into um, fruition you know this is a very divinely protected connection here it's very obvious and your person is being protected so pay attention to your intuition trust your inner gumption why is ancestors remembrance and time out here for what's hidden in the energy and so we have bodies of water solace so time out some of you could be spending some time out reflecting you know um, recharging your batteries Releasing what no longer serves you. Just connecting to your element. Water is a very healing, very soothing um, element. And it also allows for you to, you know, really tap into that energy. You know, to really find your own equilibrium. I feel like you find it to be very soothing. So you're taking time out of your day to, you know, maybe you are doing like... um you know, maybe you're giving offerings to your ancestors, you know, going to the beach or going to the ocean and giving offerings to Mama Yemenya, Mama Oshun, to your beloveds. Uh, maybe you are doing release ceremonies. Maybe, maybe some of you are, you know, just really taking that time out to, you know, like I said, recharge, recalibrate, recuperate because water is your element. So it's very healing. And I feel like that's how, what that's what's strengthening you. That's what's really got you in your power, you know, is the fact that you have been really taking that necessary time out, you know, to connect. You know, there's a very nostalgic energy. I feel your ancestors, like I said, are very instrumental in assisting you and this person that's coming in. You know, and they're responsible for, you know, the new beginnings. It's like I said, you're being rewarded and recognized, you know, for all of your hard work and labor. And so let's go ahead and clarify. Why is Earth new beginnings here? Okay, where did that just like fly to? Give me one moment. Let me find this card. They flew all the way over there like for real. So look at that. This is another card that's confirming 
and assuring you, I should say, that there's nothing for you to worry about. Just like Lakshmi said when I first, you know, started the pre-shuffle, you now have Irene saying that you're going to have peace, you know, and you have peace because you found peace within. You know, this home is referencing not only the home that you live in, you know, but the home that you reside in, your, your avatar, your physical body. You know, you've returned to yourself. You have this peace now, this peace, this tranquility. And it's because you've created a safe space, a safe haven. You've created this sanctuary. And you, you, you have protected and fortified the boundaries of the safe haven. You make sure to smudge and clean and clear and cleanse and mop and, and, and clear out the energies, old energy. You make sure to to do that on a frequent basis. It's almost like it's habitual. You have uh, devoted the time and the energy into that. And so I feel like that's why there's this peace assured. You know, not only are you going to have, um, you know, like I said, uh, material abundance, but I feel like you're also going to have emotional abundance as well, you know, with this card here, you know, because I see these two dolphins and I feel intuitively, you know, this, like, you know, this, you know, these are things you've manifested because you have owned your power, you know, your power, and that's confirmation, that's a train. So there is absolutely going to be some very powerful movements forward. You're going to have a very successful you know, new beginning. There's going to be peace and tranquility and happiness and joy. Even the star seed is happy. He's grinning from ear to ear. And it's because he's fulfilled. He's taken care of. And all of this water shows that you are emotionally, um, you know, you're in emotional equilibrium right here. So that's another reason. Like you've healed at a soul level. And I feel like you're going to be more expressive. You're not going to back down as much. You're going to speak your truth, you know. And it's because you've owned your power. You know who you are. You've gone through some form of purification process. You know, like I said, your person was prude, is being pruded. I feel like that's what, you're, you, what you've gone through, you know, going through enormous change and transformation. So that's beautiful. And look at that. This is karmic justice for you. So what you put into the universe, the seeds you plant, they're harvesting now. And you reap what you sow ultimately. And so now you have new beginnings. You have abundance. So why is the um, Astara pride and leadership here for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Why is pride, incubation, and leadership here for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Look at this. Can't make this up. Expect a miracle, beloveds. You reap what you sow, you ask, you receive, you seek, you find, you knock, and the door shall be opened. This is a beautiful blessing. This is an answered prayer. This is a wish fulfillment. And it was and because you've taken your power back. You have the arts here. Many of you are in the craft. Many of you are musicians. Many of you are singers. Some of you are hip-hop artists. Whatever you do, you make soul music. And your soul music will activate and heal millions. So tap into that energy. Channel into that energy of creation. That is your divinity. And that is what your power is. It's in creating music. You have a gift. So utilize your gift. Unpack your gift. That's probably why passion was there. Something you're passionate about. You may need to uh, give more attention to that. Because that's truly your safe haven. That's your, your happy place. You know, whenever you play that banjo or that guitar or, you know, whatever you, whenever you write or whenever you're in the studio singing, your heart is just wide open. So it's like the divine is telling you, do that. But you have wish fulfillment here and answered prayer. And you definitely have a lot of protection around you. And, and, and this Mother Mary is holding this child. This child would be you. You know, so it's like, don't worry, you're being held, you're being protected, divinely protected. Wow. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, delve in deeper. Let's go ahead and see what we got. How long? Okay, we got an hour and three. I'm going to try not to do a two hour reading today. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to really try to start cutting the videos down. I know, you know, everybody doesn't have that type of attention span. <laughs> 
you know, and I want people to, um, you know, to tune in and tap in because there may be some messages for them. So, you know, I'm not going to make no 15 minute reading, but I can definitely uh, shave it down to at least, you know, maybe an hour, you know. Okay, so all of these cards just flew out and that's what I've been doing. So you got victory, success, breakthroughs. It's going to be some celebration. You're being celebrated. It's almost like the divine is celebrating. It's like congratulations. You know, this is about victory. You know, something that you've achieved. You've achieved some sort of goal. You know, something has been accomplished here. And right underneath that is main female. And then we have wealthy male. This could also be alluding to the fact that there's like marriage in your future. Because somebody got their eyes on you. You know, they got their eyes on you. And this person is very um, successful, wealthy, self-sufficient, self-made. There's 13. That's the number 13. Um, so 13 in traditional tarot is your energy, Scorpio. So this could be you because you did have the abundance and the prosperity and no need to worry and expect a miracle. So this could be your energy regardless of it being masculine. Masculines, you got a lot of cake. You got your cake up. Feminines, that could be your energy. You know, maybe you are channeling your masculine energy, that masculinity, you know, whatever the case may be, there's a victory ahead. There's a victory ahead and some of y'all can, y'all can sense it. You could feel it, you know, so let's put these cards back. So let's see what these messages are. So we have false person here. So someone was trying to play some games here. Someone was not making enough effort. You was being very patient with that energy, with that person. You know, maybe you got a fake person in your in your um, circumference, but they can't get anything past you because you are very powerful spiritually. We saw that you're very intuitive, very clairvoyant. This person is trying to pull a fast one. You know, they're, they're, they're hiding behind a mask. This is someone very uh, manipulative, a gaslighter. This is even like that devil energy, someone who's trying to pull strings, trying to create illusions, paint illusions, someone wearing, you know, trying to put the veil over your eyes. And it's like, you ain't stupid. <laughs> you know, how you how you going to pull one over on, on this energy here? And that's why you're, there's so much crown activity here because you are tapped into and then you pick up on their energy before they even step in the door. Before they even send that phone call through or send the text, you immediately know. You know what I'm saying? What the, what their intentions are. So it's like somebody's trying to make the effort, you know, or, or, or I should say um, someone didn't make the effort, you know, because they was a false person. So they were really kind of wasting your time. And I feel like, you know, you didn't waste anything in this process because, you know, it kind of made you stronger. And as I said, it ultimately uh, led you to owning your power. So regardless, something's still blossoming. Something is still coming in for you and so next we have the community card and so just as i said you're you're protected you know the security is here so the community is referencing like your ancestors you know you have a spirit team around you and i feel like you know even as i was picking up maybe your neighbors or some of the people you live around um, you might need to tighten up your security. Maybe you're putting up ring cameras. Maybe you have ADT cameras, whatever you're doing, just to make sure and ensure the security and safety of your family. But you are not impervious to threat. This cat is on high alert. So you all have the instinct, you know, similar to a cat. You know, so I feel like you got a lot of protection around you. And I feel like all you have to do is just ask and you shall receive. There is a happy ending if some of y'all have been dealing with some really, you know, um, dysfunctional, you know, um, people. You know, some real negative, um, low vibrational energy. I feel like there's a happy ending because maybe you're going to find out somebody moving. Or maybe you're finding out that you've got approved to relocate or to move or to transfer your job and, and you're going to be very satisfied. I feel like your ancestors are very, very um, instrumental in making this um, a reality. So, you know, whatever this is, because I see this feminine energy kind of like she is like she is controlling her own destiny. You know, she is transmuting whatever this energy is. You know, she's co-creating with source. So this is powerful energy of manifestation. And so that's what you're doing. 
You know, you've solicited the assistance of your ancestors, your guides. You know, you've called on universe source to, you know, help you on this journey. And I feel like they're answering that call. They're assisting you as, you know, requested. So next we have expectation. So this person here, you know, had higher expectations of a connection, a partnership. But unfortunately, um, it was karmic. You know, maybe someone expected to be married because if you look, you know, this woman is looking out of her window and there's a church, you know, so maybe someone had these expectations of marriage only to discover that they were being deceived. There's two tens here. So it's like, you know, now it, the, the sad truth or the sad reality is that, you know, everything was not what she or he thought it was. You know, there was a lot of lies, a lot of deception. Um, we have, who is this playing? And we have um, feel away playing um, by her. So yeah, this person's now feeling a type of way, you know, feeling like they wasted their time, feeling like, you know, their heart is broken, you know, because they had these expectations. They thought they were going to grow old with that person only to discover that this was a karmic. Someone may have abandoned them, you know, thought the grass was greener on the other side and just abandoned ship. But if you look, this person is still very successful, very stable. They're still in a home. They're not impoverished. You know, they're not in despair. It was just, you know, some sort of um, ego death, you know, and that pride that I'm seeing here could have been what they are suffering from because I picked up on ego death immediately. So yeah, this person is being pruded. This person is being handpicked by the divine. Their expectations of that form of relationship um, were definitely, um, you know, they were let down, you know, in terms of what they were expecting or anticipating um, to happen within that dynamic. But I feel like, you know, it was for their good. So next we have privileged lady. And this is the energy and vibration of the divine feminine, you know, that empress. So this is what I was saying about you all, Scorpio. You know, whether you're feminine or masculine, you're in that divine feminine masculine energy. And it did show up because it's right here. So you are in that energy. And I feel like this is why this person is attracted to you. And this is someone who feels that you are the yang to their yin, the yin to their yang. They feel you speak their love language. There's going to be a lot of abundance, opulence. And I feel like with this awakening, they, they see that you have gone through some sort of enormous change. Like you've gone through some sort of, you know, life changing, life altering experiences. And it has truly awakened you to um, become that beautiful in you know person that you are now that strong person that you are now and that's something that they admire and that's why I feel like they see you as someone that could really ground them help them and heal them and we have MC light playing I am the light so they do see you as the light they see you as a ray of sunlight and that's what I said with wish fulfillment like they see you as a ray of light and I am the light is playing by MC light so you know you could be someone who is triggering your person, as I said initially, um, they see you as, you know, divine feminine, like this person definitely knows that, you know, you get what you want, you have everything you want, but you are not going to settle for games, you're not settling for the lames, you're, you're like, you're privileged, this is the type of energy that knows their worth, their value, they have high standards, they have expectations, and I feel like, you know, this energy is coming in and it's going to match yours. And this is someone who feels like, you know, they've known you from a former life. There's going to be this sense of um, familiarity, like I said, like you're going to feel like, damn, I know this person. I feel like I met you before, but they see you as beautiful, you know, they can see you as the mother of their child, father of their child, you know. You may be very successful in what you do. You may have your own businesses. You may be really like crafting and creating and just channeling all that energy into something magnificent. You're co-creating with source and whatever you're doing is very powerful. It's very powerful. This is beautiful. And so we have distant horizons. So yeah, you know, distant horizons is showing like, you know, there's a lot of, um, nostalgic energy here you know you could be going to some of your favorite parks or favorite you know bodies of water that maybe you used to take walks with your beloveds and you know it's just really making you um 
remember the good times. You know, you're taking the time out to pay homage even. But I feel like in the distant horizon, something um, is going to free. You're going to be freed, you know, maybe from a, a, a particular um emotion you know maybe you're gonna finally release something it's like a rebirth it's kind of like letting go finally what was anchoring you is going to be released so you're not gonna be so i don't feel like you're gonna be so um so emotionally um distraught if you will there's gonna be some positive changes but I feel like you are, you know, choosing to move forward, choosing to, you know, accept what was or accept what is even, you know, but there's something really beautiful. I see a lot of colors and there's movement. So this, 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 um, it looks like, um, yeah, so this boat is just, you know, the ship is still moving forward, you know, but every, you know, this nine would do, um, denotes change you know it, it denotes an ending it's the end of something you know but it's the very beginning of something new you know you're right on the precipice of starting something new because i feel like you've had some sort of grand epiphany you know something has come to light and i feel like it's just the acceptance you know it's just the acceptance it's just owning the fact that you know regardless of your your your, your enemies not being here in the physical you still feel them you know, you still feel their presence, you know, you still feel their presence because you take the time out to connect, you know, to meditate, to connect with that, that, you know, at that sacred space, you know, the bodies of water could be, you know, a literal sacred space for you. It's a place how you pay homage and give offerings to your beloved ancestors. And so I feel like there's something coming to you in the distant horizon. And remember, there was, you know, we had that halftime playing by Nas. And I was picking up on the fact that you're like halfway there. But it's all, you know, because your person is still clearing up a cycle. So next we have lovers. See that? I can't make this shit up. In your new beginning, not only will you have peace and tranquility within the self, you will also have it in a partnership. Whether that's a love ship, a business partnership, you have this beautiful energy here. And that same dove, those two doves, those are love, love, um, love birds, you know. So these two lovers, this is something that's written. And that's why this past life is here. Because these, these two statues, it's like they're in stone. You know, so it's written. This is a past life connection. This is the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang that's coming in. And this is going to be a very harmonious connection. There's going to be a lot of peace because this person is, is already very smitten, very attracted to you. They can see you as very beautiful, very regal, royal. Or if you're masculine, very dapper, very debonair, you know, very, very attractive, very handsome. But this is what you're attracting. You're going to have a lot of peace. It's going to be a lot of emotional balance. I feel like this person is going to speak your love language. They're going to be attentive, affectionate, and they're going to be attracted to you. You know, this person is going to know like, you know, that they're going to have to um, meet you where you are. And I feel like because you've you've been honest with yourself, with your needs, you've prioritized yourself. You've been really practicing self-care, self-love, and because you are in your power now, I feel like you're now manifesting and, and attracting, drawing in, you know, everything that you desire, including this passionate new start, this beautiful new beginning. This is beautiful, Scorpios. This is absolutely amazing. And now we have thoughts. You're in their thoughts. What did I say? Somebody's up in their head. Remember, um, Confessions was playing by Prodigy, Rising Power King. Um, but this person has you up in their thoughts, up in their head. Why are you all in my head? That's what they're saying. And maybe this person tries to communicate with you telepathically, intuitively. Maybe some of them are even trying to, you know, manifest you into their lives. I don't feel you've met this person. And if you did, it's someone that you were acquainted with, but never in a partnership, a relationship, a love ship. This is someone who can't stop thinking about you. You're all up in their head. This person's in hermit mode right now. Or maybe this is just your energy 
where you're kind of like in that gestation period where you're really taking the time out to heal, as I said um, in the beginning of the reading. You know, you're really doing internal work, you know. And as we see here, this is an adult person, but I feel this also could be a person like in that in that energy of like really, um, you know, really um, doing some internal reflection and and, and some self uh, searching or soul searching, if you will. Um, but these thoughts, this is what somebody's thinking about. They're thinking about, you know, thinking about love, you know. Thinking about their attraction, you know, thinking that they need to not allow their 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 pride and ego to make them lose an opportunity or miss an opportunity. So they're thinking of a strategy of a way, a means to come towards you. We have toil and labor. So there's a lot of work that was put into, you know, into this process you know, there's a lot of toil and labor. Maybe somebody has been really, really working hard, you know, I feel really working very hard to release themselves from this energy. You know, maybe somebody's struggling financially and maybe that's a part of their karma because maybe they were very frivolous. I'm heard, hearing the word frivolous with money. So somebody's really learning a lot of lessons when it comes to, you know, money management, financial literacy. Somebody's really busting their ass working hard, you know. They're working very hard. I feel like somebody's really um, feeling overworked, if you will, you know. Next we have message. So they will make that, they will reach out and they will confess whatever this is that they've been kind of holding on to. And hiding. I feel like it's more work, you know, um, hiding, you know, what they feel. And that's why they're ready to either call you, message you, DM you, text you, or pull up on that ass. And this is going to be, you know, seen as some sort of wish fulfillment in your eyes. Or maybe this is how they see you, you know, something that you've been praying for. And we got this thief here. So maybe somebody that you are attracted, maybe somebody is being... Um, taking advantage of it their place of employment it's like they feel like they you know robbing peter to pay paul maybe somebody's pride and ego you know has led them to make poor decisions maybe someone like i said that they're dealing with you know this karmic could be using them for money you know and maybe that's why this is a karmic relationship because they are you know in a relationship that's only based on uh superficialities you know on pentacles money material things you know but not on love emotion um feeling you know that so somebody's definitely um breaking free it looks like from a karmic that could be you know really just using them for their money you know because with this thief here um there's absolutely you know this person's up in their head like damn you know i know things could be better maybe they're fantasizing being with you scorpio because they know it would be a better situation than this shit you know, so somebody they dealing with, they feel like they putting all of their time and energy into something and not seeing nothing back. And it's because they have somebody here that's scheming, plotting, planning. And there's there's two people here trying to get this wealthy man, you know. So if they are in a relationship, you know, if this feminine is in a relationship um, with a masculine um, that's meant for you, you know, that's coming in for you, the masculine that's coming in for you, who's wrapping up this toxic shit, then they're, they're, they have somebody else on the side, you know, because there's three people here. And maybe this is why, you know, your person, um, you know, is, is riddled with regret and remorse because they had expectations only to discover that, you know, somebody that they were investing in um, had a whole other level on the side that somebody was playing a lot of childish games and maybe ultimately they were just using them for their money. You know, there's no love here. There was no love. But with you, they think of you and they see just how grounded and how responsible and how caring and nurturing you have a natural element. And that's why the divine was saying, um, you know, where was that message? It was about moderations and intuition. So someone has to um, trust their intuition and they have to make the necessary changes if they want to come into union, you know. But the divine is telling you to expect this miracle because it's guaranteed to happen. 
you know it's guaranteed to happen so let's go ahead let me see what else we got what else we gonna get what else we gonna get what else we gonna do gonna do gonna do, gonna do. okay let's do this so let's go ahead we're gonna get some tarot cards here bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune so you got fortune and fame and success you know all of these beautiful things coming in for you beloved scorpios you know i see a lot of new energy you know that new beginning shows that you know, look at that. Somebody's really um, doing deep dives. This is the hangman. So they're observing a lot, you know, observing their actions, observing their behaviors, and even those around them, seeing things for what it truly is once and for all. You know, maybe somebody was a hoe, a super hoe. Somebody was in and out trying to be the player, you know, only to find out they was a simp. Because this is simp like energy right here. This right here, this person getting gaffled. They being set up, being used. You know, somebody was throwing them off balance. Somebody was really being selfish, you know, kind of like breadcrumbing. And that's why this person was expecting something more than they actually received. You know, but it's almost like there's a knowing that there's something better coming. So, bottom of the deck, we have. Five of Wands, conflict, challenges, a lot of, um, I just see this as like listening to a bunch of the dun -dun -dun's, not listening to one's intuition, you know, needing to, you know, kind of adjust, you know, make the necessary adjustments. But I feel like, you know, with this clarifying this, I feel like this is how you got your power back. Because maybe you pulled away from all the crowd, you pulled away from, you know, any competitive energy, you know, maybe you sense that. Somebody definitely had you, you know, wrapped up in a bunch of, you know, um, competition that you didn't sign up for. But I feel like, you know, with them not making the effort towards you, it only led to you being able to depend upon you. You had to lean on your own strength, you know, and you had to be crafty, you know, because I feel like this is about co-creation with source, you know, co-creating with the universe, you know, starting to own and tap into your power, channeling that energy. A lot of perspective, a lot of introspective work, doing deep dives. This is self-discovery. This is also being aware of your surroundings, looking at things from other people's perspective and not just your own, you know. And I feel like, you know, you got your, you got eyes everywhere. I feel like this is also like your spidey senses, instinct, intuition. So if there are, you know, some sussy energy or questionable energy around you, you you're picking up on it immediately. You know, and the divine is assuring that there's going to be a happy ending. You're going to have peace. You're going to have a bright future. And it's because you have a connection to Mother Gaia, to Mother Earth. And you are the conduit of change. So you're transmuting all of that negative shit with the assistance of your ancestors. So whatever these people think they're doing that you they think you don't see, you got eyes everywhere. Spirit is all around watching everything. People don't realize what they do. It comes back to them, you know. So divine spirit of love and light, why is the security, happy ending, mother, while you, so here we have magician, see that? So you are the conduit of change, that's ex literally what I just said. So you are very magical, very powerful, and you're owning your power, you know, and right now you're channeling this energy of the magician. So it's literally like the divine is, is blissing you. You see the sun, the way it's kind of like, you know, the rays are right down above this crown of his head. So it's like there's a, an enlightening, there's an awareness. You are aware, you know, the magician knows, you know, so that's powerful. This four of cups, missed opportunities. This person, you know, that was in this karmic relationship is feeling like they've missed opportunities. They're feeling like they was playing with a child. They was being, you know, they was in a relationship with a very childish person, very self-absorbed. You know, it was all about me, 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 I, 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 I want, I need. And this drove this person sick. Like they was really up in their head, manipulated, you know, being manipulative, uh, being manipulated emotionally, psychologically. It caused a lot of mental conflict, anguish, anxiety, stress, you know. And so they, they really thought that this was going to lead them to that happily ever after. You know, but the spirit, spirit is working with this person strongly because this karmic relationship is, you know, is costing them their health. Like they're really, really stressed, you know, really stressed out about this, 
you know, and I don't feel like I said that you even know this person. You know, this is someone you're manifesting. So this person right now is really going through something very um, profound, you know. So why is this a curate? Uh, why is spirit, karmic lesson, guardian, and expectations here for the person Scorpio's attracting? And we have the eight of swords. So what did I literally just say? This person is up in their head, you know. That card showed somebody sick in the bed. Mental conflict. Mental conflict. This person is was being manipulated, gaslighted. And you see how this feminine energy is up there like penning. Not penning, but typing a letter. Back in the days we had typewriters. You know what I'm saying? I was alive for that. <laughs> I used to use typewriters at school. I used to own a typewriter. But she's like typing a letter. So remember that person had confessions. I mean, I mean, um, prodigy was rhyming confessions. So this is almost like this person is perhaps going to confess, you know, maybe somebody confessed to them what they was doing behind, you know, this person's back. You know, there was some form of confession and it has somebody up in their head. Maybe they're going to realize that, you know, this person they were with was absolutely, you know, they was they was fake. They was phony. They was foo foo. It was it was that the Fugazi energy, somebody who was very deceptive, very much, you know, a, a leech, you know, but they, they they're fighting back. You know, this is someone who's willing to fight back. He got that stone in his hand and he ready to chuck that shit like, you know, what you want, who want what. And this is like more so like, you know, breaking free from the illusion. You know, this person that they were dealing with, um, I feel like there, there was a lot of mind fuckery, as I said, a lot of gaslighting. Um, and I just feel like, you know, now they're confronting their demons. It's a sense that they're turning around and confronting um, their demons. And so now we have this Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. And we're about to clarify how they feel about you. And let's not forget you got this big fat abundance card sitting here. So many of you could have manifested during that 8 8 portal strongly this new financial beginning, this blessing. The divine is showering you with everything that you have. This is the door to personal healing and happiness right here, the awakening. The great awakening, spiritual awakening, this new and improved version of yourself. And now there's a new and improved financial blessing. So the abundance you're getting is also financial. You're also going to have some emotional investment, longevity, stability, security. You're going to have financial fulfillment, success, joy, peace, happiness. There's a sense of like, you know, just, just real opulence, expansion here. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're very grounded, very stable, very secure, you know, very domestic and resourceful. So why is the um, awakening card, the abundance card pass? Okay, so look at this. The sun, brand new beginning here. A brand new start. That bright future, infinite supply, no need to worry, better days ahead. This is a beautiful, happy union. Look, there's a masculine and feminine energy. Some of you could have a daughter and a son. Some of you could just be coming back into union with someone that's going to make you happy. This person, you could have known this person, like we said, in a past life. And so that's why there's these children here, this suit, you know, and it's like you're returning, you know, to someone um, that's going to be very familiar. You're going to have this uh, sense of knowing, you know, you're going to feel like you've known them from somewhere else. And with this five of cups, you know, this is really like, you know. I don't want to say crying over spilled milk because it's never spilled milk that you're crying over. It's it's the whole principle. It's the whole, you know, and, and we're about to clarify, you know, the ancestors, remembrance, and the time out. So this is really like, you know, regret, you know, missing people, you know, feeling like, you know, you missed, you know, you're missing time with people. You know, you just miss them. You know, there's this nostalgia. You know, you're remembering better times. So you're really emotional right now. There's emotional turmoil going on. You know, a lot of remorse. A lot of pain. A lot of sadness. A lot of depression. You know, it's a lot of depression here. But I feel like you're cleansing and you're, you're releasing that. You know, you're releasing it and recharging your batteries, you're letting go of that, that, the weight, you know, because remember I was picking up with that anchor, it's like you're releasing the weight of the loss, you know, you're now finding a healthier way to mourn, you know, 
And we have this four of pentacles. So this is a very powerful energy of, you know, like, you know, someone's wanting, you know, to come in and they're wanting to collaborate. But I feel this is more so you really just focusing on the self and focusing on your stability and your self-sufficiency, returning to you. Like, this is that energy of really being focused, you know, keeping your eyes on the prize and, and working hard, having that aha moment. You know, mastering yourself, working on, you know, whatever it is that you are doing in terms of, you know, maybe a business or maybe even within your career. That's like very studious energy, you know, but I feel there's a sense of, you know, you really focused on, you know, a, a brand new beginning because there was a lot of. There was a lot destroyed so it's like you're rebuilding, rebranding, finding that stable, secure, independent sense of self. And so we have right now, um, we have um, NWA. This is F the police, fuck the police. So, yeah, you know, so there's a sense of rebellion. You know, you're like you're rebelling. From how things were like you rebelled, you know, there's a sense of like just, you know, really saying that you're going to do things your way. You're going to do things the way that you see fit. And that's why I feel like this homecoming is like you returning back to yourself. You know, you're not going to be that same pushover or you're not going to be that same person that's overcompensating like you're being really selfish right now. You're focusing on your needs, your wants, your stability, your happiness. You know, and you have this um, Knight of Cups. So there could be an emotional um, communication, a confession coming in, an apology. Um, there's some communication coming in, and even a love offer. You know, somebody could be like, you know, trying to court you or ask you out on a date. We have um, Knights of Fear, and this is by Buck Wild. So maybe y'all are, you know, a little reserved. You don't know if you should trust it. You don't know if this person is being emotionally manipulated or emotionally manipulative, I should say, you know, because you feel like this person has a tendency of hopping in, hopping out, coming in, coming out. You know, knights uh, tend to rush in, rush out. They're very passionate and some of them are there for a good time, but not a long time per se. So maybe that's why you have this fear, you know. And it's, uh, it says nights of fear. So maybe you, you have a fear because you don't know what this person is hiding. You don't know what this person's intentions are. And we have this eight of cups here. So I feel like you're going to move in a direction that's going to be more so focused on the self. Self-love makes you more attractive. So you're walking away from anything that does not serve your highest good. You know, if somebody doesn't meet your fly, I feel like you're not going to, you know, really focus on that. You're, you're focused on marriage commitment both of them are making the same hand gestures you know when you look at this card here the hierophant so this is your energy and this is why i feel like you've been mastering yourself because you've been owning your power it's almost like a transformation like you've morphed into this energy because they're literally making that same hand gesture so it's almost like you know kind of standing up for what you believe in not backing down just like that energy was saying so you and your person could be mirroring one another you know, and, and as we see here with this temperance, divine time and good things take time to create. And, and and patience is a form of action. So we see here clearly with this nine of pentacles that you've been very busy. You know, all the seeds you were planting, they're blossoming now. Just like Eric Cora said. And it just required a little patience, you know. But you kept your eyes on the prize and you worked your ass off. And you, 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 ig the ignorance, you know, whatever shenanigans was going on around you. I feel like you just, you focused on what you wanted. This is the energy of like, you, you speaking directly to source. You don't care what nobody else has to say. You're going straight to source. You're, you're looking up in the sky. So a lot of you, you know, those, that's why this card of uh, Mother Mary, expect a miracle is here because you were setting intention. You was speaking your words of affirmation out into the ethers, you know, your mantras, and next we have um, this two of pentacles. So a lot of you are like multitasking. You're very busy. 
You're, you're dealing with a lot right now. You could be raising your babies, working a job, running a business. You're just doing a lot. And that could be why you're in this, you know, this leadership position because you are running the ship. You're like, you have a well-oiled machine going right now. And so you're really very busy, you know, juggling a lot, doing a lot, staying busy. And that's why I feel like there's a sense of um, wish fulfillment coming in for you. And with this knight, now you got the um, you got the knight of cups, seven of cups, and the four of cups all here. So wait, were these cards in the deck? I don't even remember. But they told me to to take it, so I'm gonna take it. So for the last cards that we have here is you know like I was expounding on is the two of cups. So you know I mean the um, knight. Of cups excuse me so there is an emotional message there's a message of love um, there could be you know an offer to go out on a date there could be someone trying to court you sending you messages just really you know cute little flirty things um, I feel like you're gonna be kind of standoffish with this seven of cups you got a lot of options you know so it's like you weighing your options you're not jumping into anything um, somebody is really um, you know, really a little perturbed because, you know, maybe they felt like they missed an opportunity. But, you know, that same person that was like up in their head, I feel like they're eventually going to um, get past it um, when they come into union with you. I feel like there's just going to be some natural, you know, because we already saw temperance was underneath this. Yeah, that's right. These cards were in the deck and I started delving deeper to see what else was going on. But this person may just come into your life out of nowhere. It's almost like, you know, they're being sent um, to you. So look at this. The Knight of Wands flew out. And so this Knight of Wands, somebody was being a player pimp hole. <laughs> and they was getting gaffled by somebody. Somebody could have got some sort of STD, whether that's a sexually transmitted disease or a spiritually transmitted disease. But whoever somebody was dealing with, I feel like, you know, they felt very overburdened by that relationship. But I feel like it ultimately made them stronger what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and that that person had a lot of pride and a lot of ego you know and they are ultimately going through an ego death which is why you know they're in this gestation this incubation period right now and so i feel like once they come out of this period because this looks like very masculine energy to me but it can be feminine it could be either or um, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that, you know, I feel like the outcome is that this person will eventually um, come out of that energy and will come towards you because they're building their strength right now. And I just want to get a couple more messages. I feel like, you know, during this time of, you know, um, you know, setting their boundaries and working with themselves or working internally and seeking answers, um, you know, they're coming to the realization that, you know, they're attracted to you because the seven and seven, the 16 reduces the seven and that's seven. So they could be communicating or visiting you via dreams. Let me get one more card um, to clarify the incubation. Yep. Look at that. This person is coming in. This is a gift from the divine. And this is going to lead to like a very stable, very successful, abundant, loving, nurturing connection. Like I see a long-term commitment this is someone that's willing to invest, to collaborate, to compromise. Someone who believes in marriage, believes in making you um, an honest woman or believes in, you know, the sanctity of a marriage. And like I said, you have a lot of options. So maybe that's why the divine was saying, you know, there's domestic harmony here, but you have to trust your intuition because there's going to be some changes that are necessary, some adjustments that are required, you know. But I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's that miracle. You know, that's the miracle that you all were anticipating. And I feel like this can be, you know, the offer of marriage. Somebody asking your hand in marriage. You know, somebody really, you know, taking lead and taking action and saying, you know what, I can't wait anymore. They're going to have a, a ego death, a pride and ego death, you know, because they're coming out of this, this, um, this hangman mode or this incubation period and coming and seeing the light finally, you know. So next we have the good. Um, this is by Prodigy and it says the good fight. So yeah, so now this person is going to be willing to fight for you. They're going to be willing to fight for you. And that's why we got this toil and labor because they already, you know, fought for a connection that was just toxic as hell. 
but they're going to see that there's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be any toxicity with you. That's why it's going to be a good fight. So they're going to be willing to, they're going to be willing to fight for what they want. They're going to be willing to, to, to oblige, you know, oblige whatever it is that you need. And I feel like this is, um, some sort of wish fulfillment here, you know, with all these seven cups, this you could find yourself overwhelmed. If you look, there's like a masculine and he looks to be handling handing this feminine energy something, a gift of some sort. So that's what I was picking up with this ace of pentacles. Like there's someone coming in and they could be, you know, absolutely like offering um, some in their hand in marriage. So this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. I do hope that this has resonated with you all. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope that you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat out shake. Peace, love, and light.